Ever get that feeling, you know, when you finish a book and it just kind of sticks with you? Days, maybe even weeks later. Oh, absolutely. That's what we're diving into today. Yeah. That Patricia McLean magic. It's a special kind of magic. It really is. We're not just talking about like, a captivating plot, right? right. <laughs> Readers consistently, I see this phrase over and over again, emotionally connected. Mm. There's something deeper going on here. And, and, and you are the perfect person to help us figure that out. Well, I hope so. I'm excited to dive in. So we've got, I mean, we've got it all. Reader reactions, analyses of common themes, um, both a romance and mystery series. Wow. The works. Okay. So, so where do we even where do we even begin? What's the first What's the first thread we should pull on to start to unravel this? You know, it might sound simple, okay. but for me, it starts with her characters. Okay, the relatability, and I don't mean relatable in a sort of surface level, like oh yeah, I have a friend like that. This mm. is it goes deeper. These characters, even when they're flawed, they tap into like these universal longings. For love, for second chances, for personal growth. So it's not just about seeing ourselves in the characters. It's yeah. like seeing our desires, our longings reflected back at us. Exactly. Think about it. Love, loss, the complexities of family, overcoming heartbreak. Yeah. Yeah. These are experiences that resonate, especially though not exclusively, with women. Right. And McLean doesn't shy away from the messier parts. Her characters, they face setbacks, they make mistakes. Yeah, and you can see that. Like a character like Elizabeth, E.M. Danaher the journalist from the Caught Dead in Wyoming series. Oh, good one, yeah. She's dealing with professional setbacks. Yeah. And her personal relationships. It's not all not all sunshine and roses with these characters. No, and that's what makes them so compelling. Yeah. Because who they... wants to read about perfect people, right? Right. Exactly. No one. Exactly. It's that imperfection, that rawness, that allows readers to connect on a deeper level. Mm. They see these characters struggling. They see them growing and ultimately finding their way. And it becomes this powerful reminder that we're all works in progress, and that's okay. Yeah, it's like, hey, life can be messy, right. but you've got this. Exactly. And that, I think, leads us to another really interesting aspect of her work. Okay. The way she balances those real stakes, those challenges, yeah. with ultimately hopeful endings. Okay, so so it's not just about like getting to the happily ever after. Right. It's about the journey. Yes, it's about the journey. And that's especially common, I think, you know, in romance and women's fiction genres. Uh-huh. Yeah. But McLean, she elevates it. So how so how does she elevate it? These resolutions, they feel earned, not just given. Okay. And that's incredibly satisfying for the reader. Oh yeah. You get the security, the optimism of a happy ending. Sure. But it resonates because the characters, and I think by extension the reader, have been through something to get there. Yeah, it's like like that feeling of relief after a good cry. Yeah. You've let yourself feel the full weight of those emotions. And then there's this release, this catharsis. And speaking of catharsis, you know another thing that McLean does so well? What's that? Is transporting her readers, creating these vivid, engaging settings. Okay, hold on. Stop, 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 stop. I need to hear more about this. Okay, okay. Because, like, how does she make these settings more than just backdrops? Yeah, yeah. Because I, for one would love to be transported right now. Right. So, and I think it's the details. It's the detail. Like, she uses such specific language, evocative language, okay. to bring these places to life. Mm. The sights, the sounds, mm. even the smells. It becomes more than just reading. It's like, you know, it's, it's an it's, experience. It's immersive, yeah. Yes. And this is crucial, I think, to understanding why readers find her work so comforting. Comforting. Okay. Tell me more about that. Well, you know, it's about safe exploration, right? Okay. These settings that she creates, they become these spaces where readers can experience these intense emotions, heartbreak, loneliness, even fear, Yeah. especially in the mysteries, right? Right. But they can experience those things without any real life consequences. It's like, it's like an emotional workout. Yes. But in a controlled environment. Yes. You get to like... You get to flex those empathy muscles. You get to like you get to feel those deeper emotions. Right. But within the safe confines of, you know, this fictional world. Exactly. And and speaking of her mysteries, the Caught Dead in Wyoming series, yeah. I think is a prime example of how she elevates the genre. Okay. By blending that intellectual stimulation, you know, those puzzles and those clues. Right. But with those raw, relatable, emotional stakes that we've been talking about. So it's not just about like who doing it. Yeah. It's about how these characters are navigating the mystery, but also navigating like their own 
their own personal journeys at the same time. Exactly. Readers are drawn in by the puzzle. Right. That desire to unravel the clues, but they stay for that emotional depth. And I think, you know, we're wired for that curiosity, that desire to solve mysteries. Yeah, absolutely. But then McLean adds this layer of this beautiful layer of human experience that mm. makes her mysteries more than just, you know, right. intellectual exercises. Can you give me an example? Like, I'm, I'm, I'm having a little trouble... Like picturing that. Sure, sure. Yeah. Well, think about Elizabeth E.M. Danaher again, right? right? She's a journalist, so she's naturally inquisitive, right? Driven to uncover the truth, but she's also dealing with these professional setbacks, right? Personal relationships, all while trying to solve this crime, right? And those two things are constantly intertwined, yeah. Which is, I think, brilliant. It's like, yeah, it makes her victories, I imagine, that much more rewarding yes. for the reader, mm. both in, you know, like solving the case, but also just like in her personal life. Exactly. And and speaking of strong women like E.M. Danaher. Yes. We can't overlook. Please, let's talk about this. Yeah. McClin's consistent portrayal of these like independent female characters. Yes. Because, I mean, this is something that comes up again and again in the reader reviews. It does. So clearly she's doing something right. Yeah. What is it about her portrayal of women that resonates, especially with female readers? You know, I think it's the nuance that she brings to these characters. Okay. They're not just strong for the sake of being strong. They have flaws, insecurities, right. vulnerabilities. They make mistakes. Right. They experience heartbreak, yeah. but they keep going. They're allowed to be complex. They're allowed to be like these multifaceted human beings. Exactly. And I think that's incredibly powerful. It reinforces this idea that you don't have to be perfect to be strong right that you can be both vulnerable and resilient and even her romance novels like the love stories they're not about like a woman being rescued right it's like these women are in control of their own destinies their own happiness precisely like, love is portrayed as this partnership yeah. this meeting of equals not some you know fairy tale rescue fantasy right right and that's a really refreshing and empowering message it is particularly for women who are often yeah. you know bombarded with these more traditional narratives it's funny because in a way by by focusing on these specific experiences uh -huh. by like really going deep into the emotional lives of particularly like her female characters. Uh-huh. It's like she's tapped into something very universal. Yes. You know, like it reminds me of that saying, like the more specific you are, the more universal your story becomes. That's a great point. Yeah. Because ultimately her characters are wrestling with these like these fundamental questions. Yeah. Of love, loss, purpose, identity. These are things we all grapple with. Right. Like, regardless of gender. Right. It's like it's like the human experience, but like distilled into these very compelling and emotionally resonant stories. Yes. And that brings us, I think, to the lasting impact of her work. Okay. It's not just entertaining. These books, they stay with you. Readers often talk about finishing one of her books and feeling this sense of fulfillment, mm -hmm. this desire to kind of reflect on their own lives, their own relationships. It's like she sparks something in the reader. Yes. A sense of introspection. Yes. Maybe even a little self-discovery. And that's the power of a great storyteller yeah. to connect with us on that deeper level. Right. To yeah. linger in our thoughts long after we've, you know, turned that final page. It makes you wonder what it is about certain stories, certain authors right. that have that kind of hold on us. You know, right. what is it about her work specifically that creates like this McLean experience? That's a great question. And I think it has to do with this really unique way she blends all these different elements. Right. So so it's like we've got this like this combination, right? Yeah. Of these relatable characters yeah. facing these real challenges. But in these like vivid settings that just pull you in. Yes. A little a little mystery sprinkled in. Uh-huh. And then ultimately this like this hopeful, empowering message. Right. That that seems to stick with you long after you've like you know, close the book. It really does. It's like it's like she found the recipe. Yes. For emotional resonance. It's true. And and we see this reflected, I think, in the way that readers talk about her work, you know, yeah. words like heartfelt, emotionally connected. Yeah. They come up all the time. A lot of readers even describe her books as like a, a safe haven oh. or a warm hug. I love that. She manages to tackle these like these complex, you know, themes. Right. To emotions. Yeah. With this like this touch of lightness, a yeah. dash of humor. Okay, the humor. Yeah. We have to talk about the humor because I feel like we haven't 
given those like laugh out loud moments enough, like enough credit. Right, right. What is it about her humor that works so well? It's often very character driven. Okay. It's these like witty observations about, you know, just human nature yeah. that make you chuckle and think, oh, I know someone just like that. Totally. Yeah. But it's never mean spirited. Right. But there's this like this sharp intelligence to it yeah. that elevates the whole reading experience. Yes. And it also it keeps it from getting too heavy, right? Exactly. Because she is she's going there, she's exploring these big emotions. She is. But there is this like underlying sense of like hope and resilience. Always. It's like, yeah, life is messy, but but we got this and sometimes yeah. we can even laugh about it. Exactly. Exactly. And and that brings us back, I think, to the heart of this whole deep dive, right? Okay. Yeah. Why do readers connect so profoundly with Patricia McLean's work? Yeah. It's not just about escaping into a good story. It's about recognizing ourselves in these stories, That's about crazy. feeling wow. seen, feeling understood. It's like she's tapped into some like universal truth about about just the human experience. Yeah. Our need for connection, for love, for purpose, and she's she's woven those truths into these like captivating narratives that stay with us. Beautifully said. Yeah. It really is, and it makes you think about like the power of storytelling. Right. He does. How a well-crafted book can like resonate on such a personal level. Absolutely. And yeah. just stay with us. It's amazing. Yeah. It is. Well, that about wraps it up for this deep dive into uh, the allure of Patricia McLean. Yeah. We hope this has helped you understand a little bit more about what makes her work so captivating. Yes. And why readers feel such a strong connection to her stories and characters. It's powerful stuff. It is. And until next time, happy reading.